Want to know what's really going on in the Chicago housing market? Would you like to cut through the clutter and find out what's really going on with housing in Chicago? Let's take a look at what's happening in Chicago today. This is information as of November 2nd, and so there might be some new information added today, but I wanted to give you an update on what's really going on so you can know all the facts. October of 2020 was a pretty much a record October. $183 million of real estate closed in the downtown real estate market, which is up 49.5% over October of 2019. In terms of median sales price, our numbers are up, up, up. The 433,500 number includes both single family and attached condominiums, townhomes. And it is for the downtown market. It's not the entire city of Chicago, it's the lakefront communities. And that's up 9.5% versus October of 2019. In terms of units closed, the 1,136 units that closed is again up versus October of 2019. And you can see the line here that shows where the sales have taken place on a monthly basis for the last five years. This is one of my favorite maps. This shows the monthly inventory by community in the city of Chicago. And what this is, is it's a rate of sale. Right now, the housing inventory is about as high as it's been for the last three years. Great inventory. But because the rate of sale has been so strong, that means the inventory based on the rate of sale is not very high in most of the neighborhoods. Let's take a look. The Chicago Loop is the slowest market right now. It is a buyer's market with 15 and a half months worth of inventory. Not a surprise given COVID, given the protests that have gone on and concerns about higher property taxes. The near north neighborhood, this is a surprise as most of the time, this is the hottest neighborhood in Chicago. Strong, luxury, near the Magnificent Mile, near some of the best restaurants, but right now it has a 13.6 month inventory it's definitely time to think about buying in Chicago's near north side. Whether it's River North, Streeterville, or the Gold Coast, all offer great buying opportunities right now. Lincoln Park is a stable market. It's neither a buyer's market nor a seller's market. And you can see here at 6.1 months of inventory, it's just a good stable market, as is Lakeview at 5.3 months worth of inventory. As we move farther out of the city, as it becomes more of a detached single family market as opposed to an attached condo environment, we're going to see less and less uh, months worth of inventory on the market for sale. So you can see here that as we go up to Uptown, 3.9 months worth of inventory. Edgewater, four months. Ravenswood, Lincoln Square, 3.9 months. North Center, 3.4 months. And the hottest neighborhoods are Irving Park, Albany Park, and Avondale, uh, 3.2, 2.9, and 2.7 months worth of inventory. West Town, which includes Wicker Park in the Fulton Market District, has 4.3 months of inventory. And the reason that's a little bit higher is because of the new construction that's taking place there. There are a lot of buying opportunities still It's a seller's market in those neighborhoods. So let's just go through what this means again quickly. Looking for a buyer's market, look to the loop, near north, south loop, and near south side communities. The Lincoln Park market is stable. And if you're looking to sell everywhere else, it's a seller's market here in Chicago. There's great inventory to choose from right now and sales are strong. 